also what we have here is a Barcini King Billy Belitis Edulis. Um, I think it was King Billy, did I say that? Yeah, probably did. Anyway, um, yeah, a friend of mine gave me this today. We're out picking mushrooms. Um, I meant to actually do this the other day. Well, last week it was when I was out camping. When I got home, I had a few of these on me. But I never did. So here we are now. About to clean this up. Um, prep it for consumption. As you can see, it's still a bit dirty around the base of it. With slugs at it at some point. Um, yeah, well, I got this earlier today when we were out picking mushrooms, so it's best eaten today. I'm just going to fry it up in some butter with some garlic and throw it onto this naan bread, mozzarella, smoked cheese, salami, tomatoes. Um, I might even use a tin of chopped tomatoes that has basil in it. If I don't use that, I'm just going to make some kind of mayonnaise with some chili. Um, maybe some of this aromat. But even better still, I've got tomato and chili pesto. I'm making it up as I go along, as you can see. Um. So yeah, to clean this off, like it, it's a bit slimy for whatever reason. Um. Yeah, I'll just I'll give this a, a little rinse under the tap, and I'll dry it down with a cloth here. I'm not going to use paper towels or anything because I don't want paper sticking to it so that's the main reason for using this um it's just in case cleaning up all around here uh, it's not too bad here you know but <clears throat> it is a very prized mushroom sought after gourmet stuff um it's 100 euro a kilo for this so without further ado, I'm uh, gonna start working on it. <laughs> oh, anyway. um, no sign of any maggots. Sleeves up, you know, you're getting busy when you have the sleeves up. When it comes to drying these, you need to have them like pretty much uniform so they can dry evenly. Um, spent three days trying to enjoy the last ones I had yeah they're all tucked away in a little box now just not sign the maggots crawling up through the center Be sure to be sure. Could have used a sharper knife, but it is what it is. If you get these smaller, you can actually just cut them whole in slices straight down, similar to what you get like with mushrooms in the supermarket. 
You can just <coughs> slice them straight down, cap the stem. Um, oh no, that wasn't supposed to happen. And you are just chop it and then then worry about the, the little maggoty bits. You can just remove the spongy spores and you get down to the flesh but I'm going for the whole lot. You can cut it as thick or as skinny as you like. Just as I do this now I realise I probably should have patted it down. So here we go. Just a damn cloth on it. You don't want to soak it. When you soak this, it will just go all slimy, mushy, fall, fall to shit. <coughs> A little bit of water on it, that's all. You don't need much. Some people remove the outer layer as it's a bit chewy. Um, it's a very rich tasting mushroom. Yeah, so find the mine, you just want to get to the point of ours for five minutes today. Um, that's what you came back in with. There was a few amanitas and stuff lying around, but he didn't bother with them. As you can see, we just cut this off. Easy peasy. Even though it's spongy underneath, you can still see the spores when they fall out. Supposed to happen. Get off my hand over the floor. Just take this bit out there. This might make short walk of it. I'm gonna bother with that piece. No, I'm not even gonna bother with that. So yeah, it's just a case of heating the pan up. Need some oil. So yeah, that's that. I've actually just decided to chop this even up. Chop this even up. Chop it up a bit more. It's somewhat even. Cook. 
Right, just wait for this butter to melt now. Focus, damn it, focus. Tomorrow I'm ready to be better. Cheese, mozzarella, salami, sliced tomatoes, butter, pepper, mushrooms, chili powder, aromat, black pepper, basil. That's all it is. for a forager. Now bread. Bit crunchy around the edges but apart from that, it's fine. Hope you enjoyed this.